So it's 11, 19 p.m. Friday, May 1st, 2020. I'm going to start from the beginning. So beginning we wanted to do, I wanted to do a home birth. Alexander didn't want to do a home birth. He was like, well, since we have it through the insurance, why not use the insurance and, you know, go to the hospital, da, da, da. I'm like, I really don't want to do that this time around. I had a very bad experience the first time. I really want to try to do this home birth, but we can't afford to do the home birth if we're trying to move. So I said, okay, whatever. So I started going to see the midwives that I saw with Adriana. And, you know, things weren't just weren't the same. It wasn't like they used to be. And I started feeling like I was uncomfortable be, being there. But I still precise and went because... What else am I supposed to do? So, come mid-March, we all find out the corona. So, I was like, I'm nervous about having the baby in the hospital due to corona and everything else. It's like, you know. feeding the baby. So it's like I'm nervous about having a baby due to the corona and the hospital and everything else. So I mean I heard some dads couldn't come into the hospital. Some hospitals were taking kids away. So I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to see my child and take my child home if I want to. And I just am uncomfortable with that. I was just like okay we can pull some money together to do a home birth. So we do. We plan this home birth. We go out and get all this other stuff. And by this time, I was 37 weeks pregnant. So, we go out to get all this stuff for the home birth and everything else. And in my head, I am going into labor. I am going to have this baby naturally. This baby is not going to cause me any problems. I didn't have any complications with Adriana. The only thing I had with Adriana was a low heart rate. So, I should be able to have this baby naturally what I thought so turn around I get up to 42 two weeks almost 42 weeks so I've been 42 weeks on a Saturday and that was last week yeah well yeah it's last week the baby's a week old so I have to make a decision my midwife is looking at me like what are we gonna do we didn't try castor oil. Yeah, castor oil. We didn't try walking. We didn't try dates. We didn't try midwife's brew. We didn't try... What else did we try? We tried a lot of stuff to get this baby to come out. And this baby just was not coming. Baby C wasn't coming. So, I started getting frustrated. I'm like, ask my midwife. I'm like... What do you want to do? Well, what do you think we should do? This baby won't come. You know, she was like, we can just try to see and see if the baby come by the weekend. So, I'm like, okay. We can try to see that. Let's see how that works out. Sorry. So, it didn't work out. Baby C would not come out. So we had to go for a plan C-section, which I was not happy about because I still had to go to the hospital. The week before that, we decided to go to my mother's house to do the home birth. And then we found out that my mother and father had the corona. So that meant that the whole house had the corona, which I didn't think we had it. Me Alex and Adriana because we were all fine but when the day I go to give birth in the hospital they gotta test me and everything else which I didn't want to do but I did anyway and found out that I was positive for the corona so that meant they were going to try to make me labor and delivery by myself to go into the c-section 
Alex wasn't going to be allowed in there. I didn't like the sound of it. Like me and him came into this hospital together. If we both sick, we both sick together. I want him to be there for the birth of his child to find out the gender of his child and everything else. I'm just not cool with that. And they were like, well, we'll talk to Head, see what Head says. I was like, okay. So before me, me knowing me, I'm like, I'm not getting no IV. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that because if I got to get up here and walk out the uh, hospital, I want to be able to just walk out the hospital. I'm not trying to be up here so, to no IV or anything. All of a sudden, they start coming in saying, uh, your baby's uh, heart rate keeps skipping. And if we don't get any fluids in you or we don't try to take this baby now, da, 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 da. I'm like, I haven't ate all day. This baby hungry. I'm hungry. And it's almost 9 o'clock at night. If they're not going to perform the surgery, then I'm about to eat something. That'll get my baby heart rate back up because my baby hungry. They're like, uh, your doctor should be in here in a minute. I'm like, okay. Finally, as soon as I say, she say what a nurse says, I'm going to go try to find your doctor to see what the, what's going on. They come in and saying, okay, you're ready for your C-section. So the baby was born at 9.26 p.m. April 24th, 2020. So after all of that, they, you know, give me you know, the, not the epidural, the spinal, and then they perform the C-section. After the C-section was done, oh, by the way, they did let Alex come into the delivery room, so that was nice. So after the C-section was done, and they announced us the gender of the baby and everything, they had me lay on the, on the table, but on another table, not the operation table, but the other table, for about an hour and a half. I don't know why. I forgot why. I think until they had got a room for me. And so I get to the room. It's just me and Alex the whole time. We got to wear these masks the whole time. It's just, it was a lot. So we get to the room. The nurse is coming in with the hazmat suits and everything else. Because, you know, Corona, they worried about being exposed and everything else. It was just... It was, a, it was sad for me to be in the hospital, knowing that I didn't want to give birth there. Then to find out that I had corona on top of that. And my baby had to be six feet away from me. My baby couldn't even be near me. It was hard. It was hard. It was sad. It was just a lot. So we finally get home from the hospital. We tell everyone in the house that you got to wear a mask and everything else. So... We're wearing a mask and doing everything that we're supposed to be doing. Um, I finally came home today. And we did a gender reveal today. And we just had family dinner. And it was nice. So, without further ado, here is Baby C's gender reveal. Um, yeah, Baby C's gender reveal. And that was my labor and delivery story. So I'll catch you guys later. See you out. <laughs> Ginger reveal cake. So excited. You got any knees? I thought I heard you call me. <laughs> She's still All right. Can you reach? <sighs> This is the gender reveal of baby C. Um, I, I, I have candles. Yeah. <laughs> I have candles. No candles. Be a matter of candles. Keep your hands to yourself, Mom. Keep your hands to yourself. 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 Anna, what what color is inside? What color is inside, Anna? I don't want color. What color is that, Anna? I got brown. No, what color is that? Say pink. 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 Pink.
Pink. Pink. Pink. Yay. 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 It's a go. Yay. Yay. Woo. Woo. Turn the cake around. Woo. It's a go. Pink. 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 It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> and what is her name? Cake no. Time. Are we doing that yet? No? Mm -hmm. no okay. <laughs> Congratulations on your baby girl. Congratulations, Adriana. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Very Pressing cute. stop now. Bye, Wynina's. On our way in to have the babies. Hey. Messed up. We got to wear these ugly masks. Yeah. I'm about to get in here. They're about to do what they got to do for the corona. Let's see where we go from here. All right. Time is 12.51. We're waiting on the room. There go Alex over there. I'm tired. I haven't ate anything. I'm so hungry. I just wanted to check in, say hi. I'm trying to stay positive right now. A little sad, but I'm trying to. So I just wanted to say hi. Okay. I'm back. So what's going on? I am waiting for my C-section to get done. I have been tested positive for COVID-19. Alex is not allowed to be in the labor and delivery room with me. I have to do this by myself. Right now I'm trying not to freak out and cry every five to 15 minutes, even though that's what I wanna do. I'm nervous, that's why I'm messing with my hair. I'm just really sad at this point. I'm really sad things didn't go according to plan. I just don't know what to say. I'm lost for words how sad I am. So, on this note, let's try to get this baby out. probably seen this video after so I'm not gonna say pray for me but yeah I'll see you guys in a minute Are you wanting to keep the scissors after? Um, sure. Okay. Do you want me to hold this up for you? Yes, please. Doesn't want to cut. <laughs> Part? Um, or toss it? Toss it. Toss it, okay. I'm So, today is Sunday. I'm getting ready to get discharged since they test me positive for COVID-19. Even though I'm not showing any symptoms, they pretty much want to get me out early. Um, I'm healing okay from the C-section. Baby's doing fine. Um, it's been a long night. Um, 
baby pretty much is close to feeding the one to breast breastfeed all night and things like that. So I'm checking in, telling you guys how I'm doing. Yeah, getting our last minute little stuff together to leave the hospital. Um sorry I'm so tired and so exhausted, but then I just had a baby. Um yeah, so I check back in with you in a little. I'm, why are you doing This is baby girl. Woo! Woo! So the cake is pink. <laughs> there she is. A baby you got your baby? Yeah. Yes. Tune in and follow the Wanina family vlog. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.